So today I will be discussing materialism. Okay. Uh, so this is materialism from a Christian's perspective. Okay. So materialism. What is materialism? Materialism is defined as someone who constantly thinks about acquiring material things like money, cars, designer clothes, shoes, bags. So again, you know, materialism is someone that constantly thinks about material things, right? Like money, cars, clothes, shoes, uh, etc. Rather than thinking about spiritual things, okay? Like God or connecting with God or spirits, okay? So that's materialism. So if a so if a Christian is materialistic, it's it's definitely that's the, it's wrong. Okay, Christians cannot be materialistic. Okay, um, you can't be a Christian and have an obsession with acquiring and caring for material things, like having the latest iPhone, cars, um, a house, etc. So you can't be a Christian and, you know, um, and materialistic, basically, okay? Because any obsession with anything other than God is sinful and displeasing to God. So we should not be uh, obsessing over material things, like money, cars, houses. Do not obsess over these things, okay? Because it's sinful and um, it's very displeasing to God. Um... So, as Christians, we should be obsessing over God rather than material things. So, God's praise should always be in our mouths. Um, we need to love God with all, of our, with all of our hearts, might, and soul. God alone is worthy of our complete love, attention, and service, and not material things, okay? So, please stop obsessing over material things, like money, cars, and the latest iPhone, etc., but put all of your attention and focus back on God. Um, another thing is money and material possessions cannot make us happy. So again, I'll say that again. Money and material possessions cannot make us happy. Okay? So stop looking to those things to make you happy. Because God is the only thing that can truly make us happy. Okay? Uh, materialism cannot make us happy or content because materialism causes us to strive for more and more. So basically, materialism leads to greed, which is why materialism does not make us happy. It, it leads to greed. Um, that means um, material things never truly satisfy us um, because when we have material things, we always want more and more and more and more of those material things, okay? So again, material, materialism does not make us happy, okay? Um, so, for example, uh, let's just say you're constantly thinking about acquiring. And when you finally get the money that you've been striving for, nine times out of ten, uh, that money will never be enough for you. Okay? So you're going to want more and more money. So that's why money and material things will never truly make you happy. Because when you get the money or material things that you want, it's never going to be enough for you. Okay, so basically money, uh, material things, when we have these things, it's never truly enough, okay, for anyone. Which is why, you know, we always want more and more money. We always want more and more um, material possessions, you know. We always want more and more and more of these things because it, it doesn't truly satisfy us, okay. Materialism does not truly satisfy us, okay. It does not make us happy at all. That's the point, okay. So another, another example of this is, you know, when we get the latest iPhone, uh, you're, you're gonna get bored of that iPhone by the time the next iPhone comes out, which is why we waste our money, you know, to get the next iPhone. Okay? So, you know, that's that's another example of um, materialism not truly satisfying us. It's the iPhone example. Okay? So, the reason why you know a lot of us buy the next iPhone, buy the new iPhone every time it comes out, is because. We get bored of our iPhones, and we feel like we need the we need the we need the new iPhone every time it comes out, you know. Because again, you know, iPhones or you know materialism, these things do not truly make us happy. Okay, it does not truly satisfy us at all. Okay, so that's the point. Okay, materialism does not make us happy. Um, 
uh, maybe only temporarily okay money materialism like uh, that maybe it may only satisfy us temporarily but it doesn't give you um, long-term fulfillment like God does okay only God can give us this long-term fulfillment that we're uh, searching for okay it's only God and not materialism okay um, so basically only God can truly make us happy okay um, so this is one of the many reasons Christians should stop obsessing over money or material things, okay? Because, uh, money and material things will never make us happy or truly make us happy. Only God can truly satisfy us and make us happy. Um, so even King Solomon, uh, in the Bible, right? He agrees with this, that money, um doesn't make us happy so King Solomon a figure in the Bible he was the richest king in the world he had absolutely everything okay um, he had more than everyone uh, ever you know he had more than everyone King Solomon had everything um, but he found that everything he had was all worthless okay this is the conclusion that uh, King Solomon uh, had you know that he he found that everything that he had was worthless um, it did not produce happiness or the satisfaction our souls long for okay so that that's what we that's what King Solomon um, learned you know in the Bible that um, everything that he had um, did not make him happy it didn't satisfy him um, because again you know only God and Christ can truly make us happy and satisfy our souls and not materialism. Don't be deceived. So I'll say that one more time. Only God and Christ can truly make us happy and satisfy our souls and not materialism. So do not be deceived, okay? Um, so that's the end of that, okay? So again, um, this is materialism from a Christian's perspective, okay? That's the end of this, okay? So I end this right here. So Father God, please watch over everybody that will see this. Cover us and our family members um, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, and uh, my soul tribe, my uh, the believers in Christ, you know, protect them. Protect all of us, you know, God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.